Well, she joined the Marines when there were not many females in that branch of service. Now, Sandy Salmon is a state representative chairing the House Veterans Affairs Committee. WHO 13's Roger Riley has more on her story in this week's Veterans Voices. I love our country. Um, I love the military. I had family members that served in the military, so um, I felt like that was uh, the call to I felt the call to go into the military, and so I did. So I served from 1977 to 1980 and was uh, stationed in North Carolina and then in California in 29 Palms. I asked them in back in the 70s if it was common to see women in the Marine Corps. There weren't very many. Uh, women were few and far between. I also asked her why she chose the Marines. Well, I had an uncle that was in the Marine Corps uh, during World War II, and um, he then ended up not going overseas, but um, that was where I was first introduced to the Marine Corps. And then I was a supply officer, so in the rear with the gear. <laughs> also looking back, I asked if she was glad she joined the Marines. Yes, I, I am. I, I, I love my country and I'm, I was happy to serve my country. Um, and. You, you learn a lot in the military about discipline and perseverance, doing things whether you feel like it or not. Now as chair of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, Salmon has a number of bills she's working on, a major one involving the Veterans Trust Fund. One that will change the investment strategy of the Veterans Trust Fund to be more like that of IPERS. Uh, IPERS is a, a solid, strong uh, investment fund and so uh, the, the Veterans Trust Fund hadn't been uh, earning very much, so we thought we'd switch the, investments, switch the investment strategy and try to get some more funding to be able to help more veterans because the need is getting greater. From Des Moines, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News. Salmon represents House District 63 that makes up portions of northern Black Hawk and Bremer counties.